Hi, and thanks for listening to another episode of Elders Words of Wisdom, a podcast from the National Resource Center for Alaska Native Elders. On today's episode, I spoke with Melissa Klupach, one of the five NRC a e faculty members participating in our Faculty Fellows Research Project. Melissa's project is about traditional foods, and in particular, helping implement a traditional foods program at Beans Cafe, a local day shelter in Anchorage. To start, I asked Melissa if she could tell me a little bit about her background in working with traditional foods. I am an assistant professor in the UAA Dietetics and Nutrition Program. Prior to that, I was the regional health care dietitian for Nana Management Services. At Nana, Melissa helped implement traditional food programs all across Alaska. She even helped start a program in San Carlos, Arizona. That was very enlightening because their traditional foods are way different (laughs) than our traditional foods here. So Melissa clearly has a lot of experience with and love for traditional foods and working on creating programs in various communities. My passion is, of course, traditional foods and helping people feel healthy, happy, and, and heal them mind, body, and soul. Melissa was born and raised in Willow, Alaska. Her dad is an Iditarod veteran, so as a kid, she was able to travel around the state to many of the villages and experience the different cultures of each one. It became a part of me. As I was growing up, we subsistence uh, hunted and fished, and and it was our lifestyle as well. And um, as a dietitian, I think that uh, those foods are uh, very important to us, very important to our well-being. As I mentioned earlier, Melissa is partnering with Beans Cafe. They provide food to anyone who needs it, not just the homeless. The goal of Melissa's research project is to implement a strong and sustainable traditional foods program there. According to uh, their program director, Scott, about 60% of their patrons are Alaska Native. That's really high. And he said that about 40% of those Alaska Native patrons are elders. Most of the foods offered at Beans are Western foods, which our elders and our Alaska Native population in general are not accustomed to. I think it's important to have them eat their traditional foods because those foods are healing in so many different ways. And if we can give them just a little bit of sense of home, I think it's fantastic if we can do that. Part of Melissa's process to develop the traditional food programs at Beans will be to create recipes and standardized menus for the cooks to follow, not only working with staff and volunteers, but the patrons themselves. When we make traditional uh, foods or create recipes, it's important to bring in folks and talk to them about the likes and dislikes and how did their grandma make it or how did their auntie make it and, and bring in those stories as well. In working with staff and volunteers, she'll help provide training and education about traditional foods in case they're unfamiliar with Alaska Native cultures and traditions. So I think it's, one, important to teach and talk about cultural competence and understand uh, the cultures a little bit more. And of course, not every culture in each region of the state is the same. So we'll have to work on that a little bit. Working with traditional foods is different than what some of the cooks might be used to. So to help with training, Melissa suggests maybe using community resources that are available. Maybe bringing in uh, an outside chef that's worked with traditional foods or even utilizing folks that are served there and utilizing their knowledge, their native knowledge, in how to process those foods as well. After she completes the initial implementation, Melissa will provide satisfaction surveys for folks to fill out about their experience, likes, dislikes, and comments about the new program. Melissa, the NRC, A&E, and Beans Cafe are excited to be enhancing the traditional foods movement in Alaska and creating more traditional food programs across the state. I think this is just another step in the right direction, having happy, healthy, healing folks. Thanks to Assistant Professor Melissa Klupach for joining me to talk about her research project and traditional foods in Alaska. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website, find us on Facebook, Instagram, or give us a call. You can listen to more episodes of our podcast on YouTube, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, or on our website. 
My name is Thomas Moore. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>